Hi guys, this is Ted Ellis and we're in my studio. Hey, I'm excited about coming to Harlem, USA. Nancy Marianne, thank you for giving me this opportunity. April the 16th, 2016, 20 to 30 original art pieces of Ted Ellis' artwork that I'll get a chance to share with all you wonderful friends and colleagues in the Harlem, USA community. How about that? Um, hey, listen, been painting close to about 25 years, 20 to 30 years. Last year was an incredible year because the city of Selma, Alabama commissioned me for the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday. That was the historical march from Selma to Montgomery that changed the civil rights laws here in the United States. And I was the official artist for that event. Uh, right after that, in June, I was recognized as the official ambassador for the city and county of Galveston. Um, that was pretty incredible, too, recognizing the 150th anniversary of Juneteenth. That's when General Granger came down, came down to Galveston, Texas with Executive Order Number 3 um, saying that slavery had ended and that it was no longer legal to own slaves here in the United States. I eventually had an opportunity to showcase at the U.S. Senate Rotunda as well as on the House side and had a special invite at the National Archives in the capital of the United States in Washington, D.C. So that was last year. This year as soon as it kicked off, January, I got recognized by the Martin Luther King um, Foundation and Port Arthur for my artistic contributions. And then the Tyler Museum featured me as a guest lecturer, the first presenter, speaking on the contributions of African American artists over the last 100 years. So that was a major highlight and an opportunity and a level of recognition through the museums that I had encountered and anticipated. This April, I will be featured at the Houston Museum of African American Culture. Pride, dignity, and courage, 25 years of painting history of Ted Ellis. So I'm excited about what's happening this year. We also have the Smithsonian African American Museum of History and Culture opening up as well. We see that Norman, Norman Lewis is receiving a tremendous amount of international recognition from his artwork. He's an artist out of the um, Harlem community. Um, the Harlem Renaissance, uh, for that matter, we had Romare Beard and Jacob Lawrence, um, Catlett, and all those folks were, were convening in, in Harlem and, and making a wonderful artistic impression and building their artistic legacy and preserving African American culture and history. And moving forward, as we evolve and, and time passes, I look at the impact of my contemporaries and myself on making on the American landscape as African-American artists preserving their culture and history. So, see you April 16th, 2016 at the home of Nancy. Um, we're going to have a wonderful celebration. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Thank you very much. If you want to see more of my artwork, tellisfineart.com. Take care. See you real soon. Bye.